Hey everyone, I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch and crafting. Today's December 1st. I can't believe it's December already. I'm excited. This is my favorite time of year. I just feel like people are a little bit happier and cheerier and more giving, I guess. And it's just my favorite time of year. Our track right now is currently covered in lights. We have a lot of homes here, including mine, has been decorated since just after Halloween. Now, of course, I don't turn the lights on until closer to the halt to December, but my house uh, is fully decorated upstairs, downstairs, outside. I've got a giant deer out there. And for those of you that watched my Halloween video, the creepy guy I had out there is gone. He is packed away. <laughs> We, when we brought the creepy guy in, Max, my little German Shepherd puppy, who has just turned nine months old, did not like the creepy guy. He barked and went crazy and didn't like him at all. So he was happy to see him stuffed in the closet. <laughs> but my track's very festive. We decorate a lot for the holidays. And now we're bright and cheery and we have beautiful colors outside and have a pretty wreath on my front door. I'm going to be doing a Christmas video special either next week or the following week. I'm going to have a Christmas chart parade, finish parade. I got all of my cross stitch finishes on my tree. A few have been sent to me from viewers, which I absolutely treasure. There's nothing better than getting a, a cross stitch from someone that's finished something for you and just being able to display it. And I just, it means a lot to me. And so I've been able to, to fill my Christmas tree here, my mini tree, with lots of cross-stitching decorations. So what I plan on doing, I've got Christmas decorations um, finishes here. What I plan on doing is collecting all of those for the Christmas video. I'll show them up close, who the designer is, how I made them, and what I used, maybe thread-wise and stuff. I know this one here has some beads on it. So they were all a lot of fun, and it's always fun to display them during the holidays. So that video is coming up. It's going to be a Christmas video special, chart parade, finish parade, and that'll be a lot of fun. I'll have some Christmas giveaways, and I just might have a giveaway from Barry from Stitch Folk Project Bags. Now, if you watch Brenda and the Serial Starter videos, you have know that they mentioned Barry lots of times. I actually got to see Barry a couple weeks ago. She has so generously donated one of her bags that are extremely hard to get. In fact, we're all doing a stitch along on starting on January 1st, and she has made some project bags to go with the stitch along. So she posts some today at 8 o'clock. They were gone within one minute. I kid you not, one minute, and I didn't get one. <laughs> so I think she's posting more at 1 o'clock and more maybe tonight, so I'll try again. But her bags are beautiful, and they are very hard to get. So she has so graciously donated a bag for my video for one of you viewers and I'll be doing that on the Christmas video coming up. So first of all, before I start, this is video number 80. I can't believe I've done 80 videos and I still can't believe this is December. <laughs> so anyway, it's a great time of year. I'm so happy. November is always a sad time I mentioned in my last video and I really appreciate all of you guys reaching out and telling me your stories about loved ones that have passed, their fur babies that have passed and kids also in in our case, we lost Rick's daughter. I mentioned that last um, video. She's so, she, oh, I could go on and on about her. She's wonderful. I loved her so much. And we lost her very young. So November's kind of a difficult month. But uh, you know what? It's just, I know they're still here with us. So I want to thank you all for reaching out, sending some messages to me, some emails to me. I appreciate that more than you know. And knowing that you have support and you have viewers like yourself, like me, that um, are with you in missing relatives this time of year. It really means a lot that, to those of you that, to me, that for those of you that reached out to me. So thank you. Another thank you I need to absolutely mention first off is thank you so much for buying me a coffee. What that means if you're new to my channel is there's a link down below in the YouTube notes. There's a link if you click, if you donate to my channel, it goes towards giveaways, it goes towards shipping costs. Last video, I had like 13 winners. So you guys are awesome. You helped me out with shipping cost. And I was able to get some fabric for you guys. I was able to get some new charts for you guys and some thread. I just may have ordered some Al Forest thread for you guys to try. So stay tuned for some future videos coming up because those are those giveaways will be coming up as well. I have some videos, at, uh, some giveaways at the end of the video. So stay tuned. 
But in the meantime, let's talk about some cross stitching news. This video is going to be primarily about cross stitch, a little crochet, not much, but a little mostly about cross stitching and um, some things that I've purchased. New release charts will be at the end. We'll go over some free charts in the news section. So let's get started. Again, thank you for buying me a coffee. It means a lot to me. Let's talk about some life update news. Not much. Um, we did not go on the road trip. Now, I know some of you have still reached out to me asking if I was going to be passing by your area. I was supposed to be coming to the Chicago area. I was also supposed to be coming to Tennessee. Our road trip got canceled. Max hurt his foot. That's our nine-month-old shepherd. Turns out he's fine. It's growing pains, the doctor said. They did x-rays. He's just fine. So we did cancel our trip and we postponed it till next year. So when I come out your way, I will definitely let you guys know. I'd love to meet with you at some of the cross-stitch shops out in the Chicago area. And I think there was one in Wisconsin I'm going to go to. And um, there was another one. But I'll let you guys know when it comes up. Maybe I can meet some of you. That'd be a lot of fun. So in the meantime, no road trip. Uh, Max's obedience training school. He just got finished with that. And we're already planning on putting him back in. <laughs> He needs some more intermediate training, so he's doing great, though. He's learned a lot. He's wonderful to walk on a leash. He's, he's just doing really well. And unfortunately, next year at the beginning, somewhere at the beginning of the year, I'm hoping to postpone it a little bit. I am back on the surgery list. I know, <laughs> as if I haven't had enough damage to my windpipe because <laughs> I have a hard time talking, and um, my anesthesia hair is finally getting a little bit better. It was pretty ratty for a while, but anesthesia hair is a real thing, guys. I'm telling you. So anyway, unfortunately, I do have to go back in for surgery. I'm hoping it won't be until May. The scheduler is supposed to call me. I'll talk to him about when, if I can postpone it a little bit, because I've got three trips to New York next year. I've got two of them are in the beginning of the year. I've got a trip to Phoenix coming up, and I really, these are all stitching related, except for March. That's not a stitching one. That's me and my husband going to New York. So I'm really hoping to postpone it, but it is going to be, as you guys know, I had an elbow surgery last year. It was actually a pretty easy surgery, not too bad, but it did not work. So now he was hoping to do the easy one to avoid the bad one. <laughs> And unfortunately, it didn't work. So I have to have an extensive elbow surgery. When I stitch, it's very hard for me because I lose feeling in the hand. I lose feeling in the, in the forearm. I can't stitch as well. I'm having a really hard time. So we're going to do some, he's going to do some reconstructive surgery to the elbow and forearm. And um, it's, it's going to be a lot of physical therapy needed afterwards. So thankfully, I can stitch with my left hand. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to have my husband put some projects on a scroll rod so I don't have to hold on to anything. And if I can stitch with my left hand, we are in business. So we'll see. <laughs> but yes, I can stitch with my left. So I should be able to get some progress. But I will be in a splint for over a month, maybe two. And then I have a lot of physical therapy coming up after that. So this is one of these things that I put off for so long. And it has progressively gotten so bad and because I put it off, as you guys know, I've had so many surgeries on my legs. I don't have time for elbow surgery. So it's like I put it off so much that I have nerve damage now and a lot of problems with the arm in general. So anyway, it's my fault and we'll see what we can get fixed and what won't get fixed. So we'll find out. I'll keep you posted on that. I have a big, big, huge <laughs> finish. And I'm so excited, you guys. I'll show you in just a few minutes. It's sitting right behind me and I can't wait to show you. I took some time this the past few weeks to just work on one thing. I do have one new start cross stitch. I am almost done with my crocheted blanket. The Attic 24 metal blanket is almost done. I only have about maybe 15 rows to go. And then I plan on starting the Yule type blanket through Attic 24. That is a blog with free patterns, free crochet patterns. Yule type blanket is here. That's the one I've showed in past videos. That gets started sometime in December. So I want it to be a Christmas start at some point this month. So my big finish, I will show you in a few minutes. I can't believe it. And we'll talk about that too. Let's talk about some more cross stitching news. Um, also, I forgot to mention Attic 24, the crochet blankets. There is a new one out. It is called the Harbor blanket. This is the color palette. 
it's beautiful. Um, I'm not going to start that. I'm going to do the Yuletide blanket first, and then maybe later on I'll do this new one. But I want to show you, you do get the supplies. You can get a full kit from Wool Warehouse. I'll put that down below in the notes. That kit, I'm telling you, I have gone to Michael's and our, our local yarn store, priced out yarn to buy, and it's more expensive than having it shipped from the United Kingdom. It, it's amazing. Their shipping cost is affordable. Their yarn is affordable, and it's beautiful. So I definitely recommend getting kits like this. If you do an Attic 24 blanket, th get it through Wool Warehouse. They're great. Uh, let's talk about some free charts. We've got some great ones from Claire. She has come back. She's got two more new charts. She posted them in my Cross Stitching fa uh, Facebook group, which is Stitching Space number 911. She shared two of them recently, and I'd like to show you here. She is on Instagram. I'm going to show her picture. She's Lady C underscore designs on Instagram. And she makes these charts free to us. And she just asks that you make a little donation in, in an amount that you can afford. And it's wonderful. It's wonderful that she does all these charts for us for free. And I can't thank Claire enough. I, I purchased one today. I'll show in just a few minutes. So the first one I want to talk about that she posted in my group is called Scales, Wings, Teeth, and Claws. I bought it. <laughs> now here's my printed picture of it here. It cut off the sides. So what I'm going to do is show a picture of it here. So you get the more visual of the sides. It's a beautiful chart. I can't wait to choose what color thread that I'm going to use. I, You know I always lean towards black. I love black. I just love black samplers. So anyway, I think this is special. I think this is beautiful. And I, like I said, I purchased it and I made a donation. What you do is you go to her link. I will link it down below. You click on the chart you want and just follow the instructions. Another one that she has for free is called Like the Flora. This is pretty, very, very pretty. She also has two others that I really love. When you go click on her link, scroll down, you'll see the Stitcher's Prayer, which is here. And then you'll also see Bluebell Manor. These are all still available for free. Or if you could make a donation to Claire for doing this for us, this, that would be amazing. So again, Lady C underscore designs on Instagram. Let's talk about some more cross-stitching news. Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery, he's announced 2022 Mystery Stitch Along. Now this is always a lot of fun. I, I enjoy participating. You know I have one of his as a project right now. I'm doing Spirits of the Dead. Now the embroidery, the Modern Folk Embroidery is a mystery stitch along, but he did mention that it's charted in black thread. Now you know we just had Black Sampler November, which a lot of us did a lot of stitching in the color black. You don't have to do this chart in black. The fun part about these mystery stitch alongs is you can choose whatever thread that you want in any color. I highly recommend 115 DMC, which is a red variegated. It is gorgeous. In fact, I'll show you something I'm working on right now that has that thread and you'll see how it works up. It's beautiful. So that's something to think about. Choose your own thread. Go to his website, modernfolkembroidery.com and look for the mystery stitch along for 2022. Let's talk about one more mystery stitch along, which sounds like a lot of fun. Caterpillarcrossstitch.com has a new stitch along called How Does Your Garden Grow? Now this is the color palette that they posted on their Instagram. This is gonna last for six months. You're going to receive an email each month with different parts of the chart. It says that you pre-order starting December 3rd and just go to their website, caterpillarcrossstitch.com. Now they just had another one that looked like so much fun. I'm gonna, it's now available as a whole chart. I'm gonna buy this one. It's called a Lucky Nutcracker, I think it's called. And it's, if I have a picture, I'll show it here. It is so much fun. It's a Christmas Nutcracker um, chart that I believe was also a stitch along last month, maybe. But anyway, the How Does Your Garden Grow, you can buy it as a full kit, you can buy it as a PDF. She said that they have the kits in 14, 16, or 32 count thread um, fabric. And as you can see from that color palette that I showed a few minutes ago, it's gonna be a really pretty chart. So check out that mystery stitch along called 
How Does Your Garden Grow by CaterpillarCrossStitch.com. You can also use, if you just do the PDF chart, you can use your own threads, pick your own colors, and that's a lot of fun too. Okay, upcoming videos that I have that I'm going to be doing probably next week. I mentioned in the last video, thread tags. What I'm gonna do, if, if you're new to my channel, these are floss tags or thread tags. What you do is when you have a cross stitch project, you've got all your colors put together. You make these fun cards. You can make them from cardstock. You can make them from construction paper, greeting cards. You can make them from all kinds of fun, just make fun designs. What you do is you hang your thread. Now this isn't what it looks like, but you hang your thread color from the tag you have all your pretty colors hanging from all these tags. You get a metal ring and you put the ring on the top. So now you put that with your project with all your colors and you put the color number on the back so you know what number it is. Like in this case, 3733, you would put that on the back of your card. Now you've got all your colors together for your project. So what I'm gonna do next week is talk about how to make these and they're all Christmas themed. I went to Hobby Lobby, I ordered some from Amazon, We'll make some together, it'll be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that video. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna do a Christmas chart parade with the finishes. That's another video coming up too. Let's talk about some stitching challenge groups for a minute. Now I'm in two, Magical Stitches and Enchanted Stitches on Facebook. For those of you in Enchanted Stitches, you probably realize that that is no longer going to be a stitch challenge group. I think it's going to stay open as a regular, just a fun stitching group. What It was actually my favorite group. And I love Magical Stitches too. So if you're wondering what are challenges, what are stitch challenge groups, they're on Facebook. What they do is they give you a theme. Now I have challenges in my group as well. I don't have them as often. These groups have them weekly. And in my group, I do them periodically, a couple times a month maybe. And sometimes they have a theme. They'll I'll put on there, pick a project that has something red in it. Pick a project that you can match with the word holiday. That's gonna be my next one. Holiday, all the letters, H-O-L-I-D-A-Y. Say for instance, you've got H, hands-on design. That's perfect for a project you're working on by hands-on design, or if you can match, it's just a fun, but basically what it is, it's a fun stitching challenge to get you stitching, to get you to finish projects. Maybe another stitching project will be put a hundred stitches into your favorite project. And sometimes I have prizes, sometimes not. So it's basically just a challenge group to get you stitching and meet the requirements of the challenge, if that makes sense. So sometimes they're themed, something, pick a project with fire in it, pick a project with the color orange. So you get the idea. So anyway, Enchanted Stitches said that they are no longer going to be a challenge group. My question to you guys, what challenge groups are you in? Put it in comments below. Tell us a little bit about it because I'd like to join some new ch stitching challenge groups on Facebook as well. I am gonna stay in Magical Stitches, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. That's always a great group also. And I just remembered I'm in Full Coverage Fanatics. That's another really fun group to belong to. It gets you stitching on your full coverage projects and uh, keeps you motivated and, you know, it's just fun. Okay, let's talk about giveaways. In the last video, I had some x Design black fabric. It is chalkboard. It's, it's more of a grayish black. It's not really jet black. And the winner of the fabric is Perennial. So Perennial, send me an email. I will list it here. Send me an email with your information and your address. I will mail you your x Design fabric. Next, I have Woodland Santa that I accidentally bought twice. This is by Stony Creek. It is adorable. It's brand new. The winner is Sharon Fallon. I'll show your picture here. Thank you, Sharon, for entering. I will email this or I will send this to you. Send me an email when you get a chance with your address. Congratulations to the winners. Okay, let's talk about the finish, the big finish that I have. I'm so excited to show you guys. This is Stables at Hollyberry Farm. It is by Stacy Nash. Now, as you guys know, I had a lot of problems in the, with this that I've had to pick out. And it was the grass area that gave me the most trouble. I'm really happy with it now. I did choose some different colors for the border 
because I the colors were pretty that were chosen, but I wanted a little bit brighter. I didn't want the muted colors that I thought looked muted on the fabric that I chose. Now this is 32 count Wren by Picture This Plus, and I'm excited to show you guys. We'll go over the colors as well. Here we go. Eee, it's done! I can't believe it! <laughs> so excited! So this again, Stables at Hollyberry Farm by Stacey Nash. It is a finish. I got it done last night. And let's talk about the colors for a few minutes because I did make some changes. I chose the border colors I wanted brighter. So I chose Candied Yams by Classic Colorworks. And I chose 498 Red by DMC. And let's see, the house I believe is Ecru by DMC. 729 is yellow there for the gold on the columns. So the plants, you can of course see the 498, the candied yams. I did the horse in, I think it was black. I think I chose 310. And one of the horses, I did change the color because I wanted the horses that I grew up with. I chose to fill in on this motif here on the b scap. The chart shows to leave it open, the hole open, but I didn't like the open fabric. It was just plain fabric showing. And for the opening of the b scap, I filled it in with black because I like that better. Uh, the dog, two-tone dog you can see right here is matches my German Shepherd. So I changed him to look more like my German Shepherd. This area here I did with 729. Cottage blue, what did I choose? Um, cottage blue, I'll, I'll look it up in just a minute. But uh, I did change this design here, that little square. I changed that a little bit, but otherwise it pretty much matches the chart. The red here is cayenne. That is, again, I'll, I have it all written down, so I'll tell you what uh, cayenne is. I think it's weak style works. But uh, yeah, this, <laughs> this was a lot of fun. I just think it's so pretty, and I'm proud of it. I'm proud I stuck with it for the last week. I haven't stitched on, I have stitched a little bit on some of the other stuff, but um I didn't, I focused on this to get it done. And again, the fabric on this reminds me, I've mentioned it before, it reminds me of my aunt's ranch. That's where I grew up. Um, in the summer times, we'd go to my aunt's house in Nevada. And she had some sacks that looked just like the modeling. And the sacks, I think they had oats in them maybe. And it was a treat for the horses. And, uh, it reminded me, the coloring reminded me of the sacks that she used to have that we'd feed the horses from. So it was perfect color fabric for me because it reminded me of my childhood. And I just think this is just wow. <laughs> but this house, the windows, um, some back stitching on the windows to give it the effect. And the pretty bird in blue, cottage blue, light blue. Anyway, that's my finish, you guys. And like I said, it's a big one. It has been so much fun to work on. And let me look at the colors real quick to tell you what that blue is from. Cottage blue. Oh, I have it right here. Gentle Arts. That's what it looks like. It's kind of a grayish, variegated grayish blue. And then Cayenne is Weeks Dye Works. I used 502, which is DMC, 310 DMC, 838 is brown DMC. I used, I have charcoal on here, but I don't think I used charcoal. I may have used that for the opening of the B-scab. Another one I used is Wood Trail. That's for a brown. That is by Gentle Arts. And then, of course, 729 and this color, 498. So those are the color, oh, and um, Ecru by DMC. And Candied Yams was the other one. That's the coloring for the border on the outside, the flowers. 
So I hope you enjoyed seeing that. It was a lot of fun. This chart is available as a giveaway. It has not been marked on. It's brand new. If you'd like this, this will be giveaway number one. I'll put that aside and we'll go over giveaways in just a little bit. I can't believe it's done. I'm so excited to get it framed and show you guys when it comes back framed. Let's talk about another free chart I forgot to mention. Now, this is from Lindy Stitches. It was part of her newsletter. So if you're a fan of Lindy Stitches, contact her or give her your email. And you can probably still get this one is beautiful. It is called Sugar Plum Dreams. And this is a free chart by Lindy Stitches. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. It's adorable. Uh, let's see. Some giveaway winners that I have not heard from. I forgot to mention also in the beginning of the video, two winners from last week, Halloween Quakers. I have not heard from the two winners and the winner of Trick or Treat. So contact me or watch the last video. I don't have the names with me. Watch the last video and see the giveaway winners. If your name was called, contact me and I'll be more than happy to get you your giveaways. Let's talk about a new start that I had. Now this is my first dimensions kit. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. I have never done a dimensions kit. And this one's a lot of fun. It's a little hard on my hand though, cause I'm not used to Ada. I still love the look of Ada. But the problem with this is that it's very hard on my hand for some reason when I'm stitching. So I can't work on it as often as I would like, but this is what I'm working on. It's called the finery of nature. It is gorgeous. It uses gold thread that is... My friend Jenny and I started it the Monday before Thanksgiving. And this is what we're switching the gold to. Um, the sparkle braid. So there's a lot of this in the chart. It's going to be beautiful because it's on black fabric. So here's my start. It's kind of small. But that's my start little bit of, of back stitching as well I got done. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can turn it a little bit. There, maybe there. So that's my start on this one. Not anything too impressive, but I am starting on right there. So I got that flower and that leaf done, but you can see the gold in the outside here and throughout is gonna be really beautiful on black. So that's one start. Um, that I did. My plans coming up are Christmas stitching and red stitching. Now, you know, last month I did a lot of black stitching with black thread. And I wanted to show you a couple things that I'm going to be working on. And I mentioned earlier the DMC 115, that beautiful variegated red. I'm using that for this one. This is by Jardin Privé Red Christmas. So this will get worked on this week probably. My progress on this. I don't think I have much, a little bit, but you can see the variegation in DMC 115. It's really, really pretty. Let's see if I can stretch this so it's not so... See that pretty variegation? It's a great thread. Sorry, it's got a big line in the middle of it. <laughs> but you can see the variegation. It's just a really pretty red. So that's gonna get some attention this week, actually probably tonight, once I get this video done, I will work on this. Here's the 115 so you get an idea. There's some dark red, some light red. It's beautiful, a beautiful color. So that's gonna get some attention. I have some other things that are gonna get some attention and they're all wrinkly. Moonlight Sampler is gonna get worked on by the Blue Flower. That's a favorite a favorite of everybody's and I love the fabric so much that I bought some more of it so my progress again sorry for the wrinkles moonlight sampler by the blue flower this is on I think it's called winter wren by the fox and the rabbit that's the color of the fabric and um, that's my progress so we're going to work on this a little more and some other things I'll be working on. Of course, the TGA sampler by Just Stitching Along. I love that red. I, put, I did put a little bit more into this. 
This I'm working with Belsoi silk, which is a slight variegated silk. And this has also got a big line right in the middle of it, <laughs> of course. So that's progress here. Oh, this is another one that I want to work on. It is Historische Stickmuster. This is not a very good picture of... Actually, I'll put a picture of it here. This is Quaker's Pride. And this is another very wrinkly piece. <laughs> but you get the idea of my progress. That's my progress on it. Isn't that beautiful? And um, I'm going to get some work done on this as well. Maybe finish up that motif I'm working on right here. How pretty. This fabric is called Hazy Gray. This is going to be a big one. I can't even get my arms long enough to show you. <laughs> There's white in here also that the little, it's better you can just see in person. But uh, anyway, that's my progress on this one. Hazy Gray by Fabric Flare was such a perfect choice for this project. I think I'm just using DMC. The white is by Color and Cotton called Pearl White. Here's one I wanted to mention. Jesse Watson by Hands Across the Sea. Now I noticed Nicola has mentioned she would recharted the roof. When you get this chart, the roof is really different. I, it is kind of for linen stitchers, but it's now available as an Ada stitch, which makes it a lot easier for those who want to stitch Jessie Watson to do that roof. She has recharted it with Ada, I mean, um, stitches that's appropriate for Ada to make it a lot easier on you. So this is another one I'm going to pull out. It is 46 count, 46. <laughs> I need some really good glasses. So my progress on this, again, it's wrinkled. I didn't really plan on showing these, but that's my progress so far. It's pretty, really, really pretty in person. It's not showing that the colors aren't as bright and vibrant as they are in person, but it's pretty. So anyway, when you get to the roof, if you choose to do Jesse Watson, check out Hands Across the Seas. I saw it on Facebook and Instagram, I think. The recharted version, she posted it for those that want to stitch it using Ada. It's a lot easier to stitch. And for this, I am using the um, 103 silk colors. Really, really pretty colors. And again, 46 count. Who does that? Let's talk about a few things that I got during the Black Friday sale. I did get a really cute chart from Stitching Spell. This is their name on Etsy. Put it all together when you search. I got this adorable Santa Claus with the train. I'm going to actually show a picture of it because this printed picture, it's a little, I don't know if it's blurry or faded, but let's show a picture of it here. Isn't that adorable, the stitching train? So cute. And let me tell you about a really great Etsy shop that I discovered. This is my first purchase. I received it within a week it, from Lithuania, if you can believe it. She's wonderful. She's very nice. She wrote to me afterwards, Yarn Stories. I'm going to put a picture of it here. Let me write down so I don't forget. Yarn Stories is a cross-stitch shop. It's a craft shop. And she sent me everything by FedEx. So I received it so fast. There's something special to me about receiving a FedEx box. I know it sounds silly, but after I watched the movie Castaway with Tom Hanks, <laughs> when you receive a FedEx package, you are someone special, according to Tom Hanks. So I believe it. And when I saw it and it arrived, I was so excited. I got a FedEx box. Maybe it was from Tom. <laughs> But anyway, there's something about receiving a FedEx box that just makes me so happy. And anyway, all the way from Lithuania. Awesome. So I got three kits. They were all discounted during Black Friday. They're beautiful. These are my first Luca S. This is the name of it. Luca S. They are beautiful kits. I am addicted to kits. Now, as you know, I've gotten some in the past. I haven't stitched them up yet because I wanted to start with that dimensions that I just showed you. But anyway, here's what I got. 
is I have, there's a reason I got this. I don't remember the name of it. It just says Santa Claus. But anyway, there's a reason I got this. And you know why? Just a few months ago, I had one of each kitty. I have an orange kitty. Well, she's Calico. I have a black and white kitty and I have a gray kitty. Now the gray kitty passed away a couple months back, as I told you guys. So anyway, this one was very special because of all the kitties and how they relate to my kitties. So anyway, look at how gorgeous this is packaged. They're a little bit expensive if you buy them like full price. If I, like I said, I got mine during Black Friday, but they're so well organized. You can see the symbols, very easy to read chart. I looked inside and anyway, that's the first kit that I got from Yarn Stories. The next one I got is another Luca S. And this one I saw from Amy Loves Toad. She had posted it on her Instagram, I believe. And it was just gorgeous. This is called Dreaming of a White Christmas. Isn't that amazing? I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of confetti, which is changes of color, of course. But how adorable. All of my animals, including my shepherds, are allowed on the couch. They sit with us on the couch. So... This is going to be beautiful. Dreaming of a white Christmas. And the threads are beautifully put together. This one was a little expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it because of how organized everything is. And the last kit that I got is called Christmas Wood. This is by Letty Stitch. That's the name of it. And this is the picture of it. And again, I got all three of these from Yarn Stories on Etsy. When you search again, put yarn stories together. That's beautiful. And look at this. It's just so beautiful how packaged it is. Beautifully packaged it is. I also bought, okay, so I mentioned I got some more Winter Wren, that really pretty fabric from Kitten Stitcher. And I got a big, I got like a half yard. She has a thing where you can buy needle minders mystery needle minders and you don't know what you're gonna get so I got two of them because I love needle minders she sent me this lady isn't she cool she's so long <laughs> and this one says thirsty yet just no thirsty just whistle it's like a vintage bottle cap it's made of wood though but I thought that was pretty cute so those are the two mystery needle minders that I got from kitten stitcher com. I have three boxes to show. One box, well this isn't a box, but it's a beautifully wrapped package. This is an advent. It is the 12 days of Christmas from Colorado Cross Stitcher. Now I didn't want to open it because I didn't want to spoil any surprises, but somebody told me go ahead and open it because everything's individually wrapped. So for 12 days, including today, today is day one, I get to open a package. I don't want to open them because I don't want to spoil the surprise. I will save them to show you after Christmas because some people I know are saving these for Christmas Day to open, which I think is great. I think I'm going to open mine each day. So day one, day two. So this is coloradocrossstitcher.com and this is going to be a lot of fun because we don't know what's in these bags. Next box I got is a mystery box or well it's a it's called the yule ball from forbidden fibers a cross stitch and mystery stitch along so here's what the outside looks like and inside if i can't show you no i think i can here's what it looks like it was beautifully packaged iridescent paper you can see the pretty iridescent colors each day is marked these are also marked day two and some of these here day 13 beautiful packaging this is forbiddenfiber.com this is day 25 i smell something really good in here so you get the idea day three so i believe there's 25 or 26 of them in here and each day I get to open one. So these surprise boxes are a lot of fun. 
Forbidden Fibers does a great job. Be Stitch Me does a great job. But anyway, this is what mine was called, the Yule Ball. A cross stitch mystery stitch along by Forbidden Fibers. This again is something that I'm not gonna show you guys because I don't wanna spoil any surprises for those waiting to open their boxes on one day. I hope that makes sense. The next one that I got is from Patchwork Rabbit. 2021 advent calendar all the way from the UK. Now this is adorable too. Here's what it looks like. They're all numbered. There's an envelope with number one and all and dated. Some little surprises inside. I guess, you know what? So we can set these up along maybe like a mantle and pick each one as we go. It says, this is a crack up. It says, welcome to the Patchwork Rabbits 2021 Advent Calendar. It says, there is strictly no peeking, poking, prodding, pinching, squeezing, shaking, no sniffing, weighing, or measuring allowed. <laughs> you have to open up each day. You can, you know, like I said, pick day one, open it up, or you can open them up all together on Christmas Day. So again, this was the patchwork, <coughs> the patchwork rabbit from the United Kingdom, and it arrived perfect timing for Christmas. So again, I will save everything inside after Christmas once I know everybody's opened it up, and I'll show you guys. This stitch along is ready to go. This starts January 1st, Elizabeth Isles. It is for Laura from the Brenda and Laura videos. I got mine, my thread from Leo and Roxy. It's a pretty, pretty colors. And I also have the conversion, as you can see here, um, the angels on the outside, each all different angels. And I'm going to change the skin tones. So they're all different skin tones. So I have Lindy Stitches put a conversion for skin tone colors. I have that printed out and ready to go. So this starts January 1st. This is by the Scarlet Letter. Also, I got these I think I showed in the last video. Happy Mood Point on Etsy. I'm pretty sure I showed that on the last video. Isn't that beautiful? And this is the name of the Etsy shop. Put it all together. Happy Mood Point. Christmas Sampler. And these two I know I showed in the last video. That printed up really pretty. These two are from Maya Stitch. That's that rabbit I was showing last video. I got her to print out really, really pretty. And it's M-I-Y-A Stitch on Etsy. These are both... These, all, these both printed out really, really pretty. This one, actually, I take it back. It's not Maya Stitch. It's two by two stitch art. Again, I showed it last video. Um, that's the name of it. 2x2 stitch art. Put it all together. Merry Christmas. That's going to be a beautiful, beautiful cross stitch. So those actually printed up really nice. A couple more things that I got. I got Honeysuckle Manor. It's a beautiful book by Blackbird Designs. Here's what some of the insides look like. Really pretty. Uh, Blackbird Designs. And then last but not least, during the, fab the uh, Black Friday sale, I bought Chatelaine, two Chatelaines. Now, I'm insane. If you guys know anything about Chatelaines, these are massive, majorly, I don't want to say difficult because they're really not difficult. You just follow the instructions, but they do have specialty stitches. They have specialty threads. They have fancy metallics. They have beads. They have um, jewels, like little Shvarsky. Is that what they're called? Jewel? Oh my gosh. They have all kinds of gorgeous threads and stuff, but it's the specialty stitches I'm a little afraid of, but everybody's telling me if you just follow, if you could do a Mirabilia, which I've already finished a Mirabilia, and I have another Mirabilia about halfway done, everybody says, no problem, you can handle a Chatelaine. As long as you follow the instructions, they have easy to follow instructions for 
stitching the specialty stitches. So I'll show you the two that I bought. Now I made the mistake <laughs> of printing the chart. Well, the chart, there is no way I can read this chart. It is this, the graph is this big, like it's microscopic. You can't barely see the symbol. What I do thankfully is I use my iPad. I take a picture of it or I can load it into my iPad under Goodreads. I no, it's not Goodreads. It's called um, Good Notes. It's called Good Notes. And what I do is I just put it on there and I can enlarge it. So you make a big picture of the graph and you can see it perfectly. So if you do a shadow lane, I don't definitely don't recommend doing it from a piece of paper because I, I'm not going to show the whole thing, but I mean, seriously, you can't, it's so tiny. I can't read this, not even with glasses. And I looked under my magnifier, I can't read it. So load it onto a program like um, GoodNotes. Is that what I said? GoodNotes. And then I even take a screenshot from my iPad and I can enlarge it with my fingers and it's perfect. I can see it perfect. So the two Chatelaines that I bought, here's the first one. The first one is called Octopus Cove, I believe. Oct yeah, it's called the Octopus Treasure Cove. Now this is special, it reminds me of my wedding. I got married at the Aquarium of the Pacific. If I can, if I can put some pictures in, I'll put some here. And you can see the tanks in the background, jellyfish in the background, and it was very special. When we got married, it was beautiful. So this chart reminds me of when I got married and it's one of the smaller chatelaines. So this is doable. I think I can do this. The next one I got is massive. It is the Mandela, the Egypt Mandela. And it has to do with the country of Egypt. They have pyramids. It's got different scenes, as you can see, different scenes from the country of Egypt. It's gorgeous, purples and browns and gorgeous, gorgeous pattern. Next, I got some really pretty fabric Duxbury 40 count from Fox and the Rabbit. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love that. Let me take it out of the bag. It is beautiful. It looks like a speckled egg. Let's, sit, let's show this side. This is prettier. Gorgeous. I think an animal pattern would look good for my animal tree. Maybe I'll do that in say March. No, March is St. Patrick's Day. Maybe May when there's not a holiday. Um, Some other things that I purchased. Oh, here's the last one I'll show today. I got Turkey Day. I heard there's a stitch along going on. My friend Linda might be doing it and a couple other friends are doing this as a stitch along. Isn't he beautiful? I think he's gorgeous. Cotton, cottage garden samplings, turkey day. So he's one I think is gonna be just gorgeous colors. They are DMC and a couple of gentle arts. I see maple syrup and chamomile from gentle arts. The rest I see are DMC. So anyway, he's beautiful. Okay, that's all I'm gonna show for haul today. Let's talk about giveaways and we'll talk about some new releases real quick. Let's do the new releases. How about Priscilla and Chelsea? Stitching with the Housewives has two. Snowman Pedestal. This is the first winter tiered tray. Tidbit. The next one is Hello Frosty. That's really cute. The next new release I want to tell you about is gorgeous. Bella Filipina Hummingbird Pixie. Next, we have Al Forest. Wait till you guys see this one. Al Forest Embroidery, Red Cardinals and Festive Birds. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That red is just, I have a feeling I'm gonna get that one. I better get ready. I better start stitching and I better start stitching faster as I say that with my arm in a cast in a couple months. <laughs> Carolyn Manning, let's talk about her. She's got Delilah and Autumn Romance. Those are beautiful. 
Last but not least, Little Stitcher Shop on Etsy. Put it all together. Little Stitcher Shop, Santa in the Air. We also have Christmas Market. Last but not least, we have Christmas Carousel, Little Stitcher Shop. Okay, let's talk about giveaways. Number one is the Stacy Nash Primitive. This is my chart. I don't even think it's that wrinkly because I didn't, I use my iPad. So what I do is I take a picture of the chart, blow it up in good notes, make it big, and then you can still mark it. As you're marking on your iPad, you can mark off the symbols and it saves it. Good notes saves your colors. So that's what I did with this. So I didn't use the main chart. This is available for a giveaway. Now don't, don't forget, don't say the word free. Don't say the word giveaways in the comments down below. You have to be 18 and put in for this if you'd like. How about just put stables? It's called the stables at Hollyberry Farm, but put giveaway um, that you're interested in. If you're interested in stitching this chart, please don't resell it. Stitch it. If you're interested in stitching it, put stables. Giveaway number two is from a viewer. This is gorgeous and a perfect time to do this giveaway. It is by the Victoria Sampler heirloom nativity sampler here's what it looks like all together it's just gorgeous now up close i'm going to show it up close and i'll pull it back so if you're interested in this one your keyword put sampler i was going to say nativity but just put sampler so this word here you're going to put stables this word, if you're interested in this one, put sampler. You can even put Victoria sampler. I'm going to know which one it is. Last but not least, this is another perfect time to give away a brand new copy of the 2022 Book of Days. If you happen to watch Brenda and Laura, they always show their Book of Days. I should show mine. I'll show it next time, but it's covered in stickers. I've been a sticker collector since I was a kid. I have tons of stickers. So what I do, it's a calendar. If you're wondering what I do with this book, I fill in what do I work on each day? Do I work on my crocheted blanket? Do I work on Spirits of the Dead cross stitch? I write it down each day what I work on and then I jazz it up with stickers as well. Sometimes colored pens. It's just really fun to fill it in. So what it is basically, it's just a calendar, but it's a lot of fun to keep track of what you work on when you work on it and just jazz it up. So this has become a really popular book for a lot of stitchers. The 2022 Book of Days, and it doesn't have to be stitching. It could be, like I said, I put punch needle in there. I put that I work on crochet. I put that I work on wool applique. It's just a fun book. It's a calendar to keep track of your projects. If you're interested in this, put book. That's your keyword, Book of Days. So those three giveaways, one, Stables, two, Sampler. I'll show this one more time up close. It's just so pretty. And again, this was sent in by a viewer, so it is a little bit used, but the mark, there's no marks inside. I looked and it's practically brand new. So if you're interested in any of those three giveaways, just put the keywords. Again, don't mention free or giveaway down below. Okay, you guys, that's it for this video. Put in for giveaways if you're interested. Also, don't forget to comment below if you happen to be a part of a fun stitching challenge group on Facebook. Let me know. I'd love to know what it's about, what it's called, and I'll look it up. And maybe I'll mention them on my next video as well. I've got a regular floss tube coming in a couple weeks. Watch for the Christmas tag, how to make Christmas t thread tags in the next video. And it's a part two to the how to make thread tags from last January. And also I'll be coming up with a video probably in the next two weeks for Christmas charts, Christmas finishes. I'll show all these finishes up close. So you'll get a look at some good Christmas cross stitch finishes and a punch, couple punch needles as well. So thanks for joining me, everybody. Follow me on Facebook, my group stitching space number 911. We have Zoom meetups, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, sometimes during the week. They are a lot of fun. We stitch together, we chat, 
Sometimes I'm on, sometimes I'm not, but we have a really great group of people on there. We have stitching challenges. I'm gonna have one this weekend if you wanna participate. And we have, we show our progress, we show our finishes. It's just a lot of fun. Also follow me on Instagram. I am 911 Stitcher, all spelled out in letters. And that's it. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.